Hey everyone, how's it going? This is going to be another Clip Studio Paint tutorial. So in the uh, last tutorial, I went over 3D models of Clip Studio Paint. Uh, but since then, uh, there has been... Uh, somebody in the comments mentioned something about uh, removing the blue lines. And it's a very helpful tip. And it uh, I wanted to sh share that with you guys. So... Uh, just like on the last video, um, we use the adjust the light source to uh, highlight the features on our model. Um, so we move the light source on our sphere here to best show us the features on our models, like the nose and the eyes and the lips and such. And uh, but uh, sometimes these uh, the blue lines here they get in the way. So um, I'm just adjusting the, the the light source here so I can get the best. Uh, view and uh, what I'm going to let me zoom in a little bit so you can kind of see the details here so these uh, if you go here to this these wrenches here um, it opens up this window here and what you want to do is come down here to preference and then uh, this rendering settings and so uncheck this part here it says uh, uh, the the texture and it removes the blue lines so then uh, now you can see the features a little bit better uh, and that's a really great uh, advice uh, that was left by a comment on the last video I made um, and now you can just adjust the light however you want it so you can best see those features another thing I wanted to show you was I went over this dog bone uh, where you can manipulate uh, the the uh, the model itself um, and this one in particular where it had these preset sliders where the overweight and child and stuff well there's another one that um is actually a lot better and it's this window in front of another window uh if you click that one uh you get this uh table here where uh on the top here uh you have uh, the most kid features and then at the very bottom you had the most sensual features and the same with the uh, uh, the left and right. So on the right, you have the most overweight features. And on the left, the most uh, s slim features. And so you can move this box here. Um, you can move it anywhere. Um, so if you want a kid, a slim kid, you can move it in this area here. And you can get a, a really slim kid. And the further left you go, the slimmer the kid will be. And of course, the higher up you go the younger the kid will be and so if you go on the other side of the line you can get the overweight kid and so something way up here is really young and but you're still you're not really slim and you're not really overweight you're kind of in the middle um, and of course if you go all the way to the extreme there's the youngest uh, slimmest kid uh, you can make and then you can go to the other extreme and have the youngest overweight kid and of course uh, it works uh, the same way down here uh, you can come to more of a sensual or an adult like um, and then still not exactly slim but not not in the neutral either so you're kind of in the slim area but you're also down below in the uh, sensual area and so the same thing applies if, if you go down to the very extreme down at the very corner you can get uh, the most uh, slim uh, slim sensual or adult like uh, model and then you can go to the other other side of the extreme and you can get the most sensual uh, overweight model so this quadrant uh, uh, manipulation is, is a lot more useful I think than uh, uh, doing uh, individually um, and, or the other one where it's the the sliders with the sliders so and if of course if you go down if you go back to the middle you're you're back to something that's is neutral it's like uh, generic and so here's yeah it's a lot easier than than individually uh, manipulating all that and then and also more uh, uh, robust than just picking one specific thing like overweight or or, or um, slim or whatever so um, 
Another thing that I wanted to show you guys that uh, I recently came across is the uh, the hands. So in the previous uh, video, um, I was trying to manipulate the hands of the model to make a fist. Um, but there's actually a tool uh, that makes it very easy where it, 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 uh, it manipulates the hands and the fingers um, all at one time. Um, without uh, individually selecting the fingers and manipulating them individually. Um, I'm just trying to position this here so that we can get the best view of, of both both the hands. So if you go back to the, the wrenches, um, and there's this, uh, it, it poses, pose, where, no, not that one, pose, where's, now that's where I was before. Pose. There it is. That one. And so he, this um, triangle here, you can um, manipulate uh, the fingers. And uh, so they have these presets down here. So instead of individually, like I said, uh, uh, like I said in the previous, I was trying to manipulate individual fingers. You, they have these preset uh, down here. Where you can, if you look at both the hands, you can see it makes a fist because I have that selected down here. Um, they have other uh, pre-selects like uh, this one where it looks like a paw, I guess. Like if you were to make a, a, a tiger paw or something. Uh, and then they have this other one where it's like a semi-clenched fist. Uh, and then this other one with the semi clenched fist, but with the thumb straight instead of uh, curled in. Uh, let me get. Let's see if we can get a closer view. There you go. And then of course you can uh, manipulate inside the triangle. So this um, position here is an open palm, and then if you go to the other extreme, the fingers are spread out. Um, Another useful thing is uh, you'll notice these chain links up here. If um, you click them, it'll lock them. So th this one represents the thumb, and this is the first finger, second, third, and fourth. So if you select uh, any... So I want to lock the thumb and the first finger. Um, and then when you start manipulating uh, the fingers, you'll see that in your model that they stay put um, because they're locked. And so you can make like a handgun kind of uh, hand or um, and if when the, the cursor is down here at the bottom of the triangle, it, it goes back to whatever you have pre-selected down here. Whereas the the other corners of the triangles are fixed for the palm and the the palm, the open palm and the open palm with the finger spread. Um, so, yeah, you can play with it and and, uh, and once you unlock it and you start moving the cursor again it, uh, the the other two fingers uh, become unlocked and they get manipulated like the other fingers um, so yeah you can you can do a lot uh, with with that one uh, to manipulate the hands you could also uh, specifically if you select one hand specifically you'll manipulate just that one hand um, Another thing I wanted to show you is if uh, if you have a pose, um, let's say you you do a pose of a, of a character. Uh, let me try to get her in the uh, in the canvas so you can see her. So this is a pose I created uh, of somebody flying. And let's see here. Hold on. Let's get a better look here. And let's say uh, you're you're manipulating the model so that uh, you I, I don't know you 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 want to move it around and you're thinking oh I want it just uh, differently right so I'm just gonna make all these weird uh, poses here right so you make this pose and you're not happy with it right um, so you want to start over you're just like you know what let me just start over so if you come here to this option here, it's a circle with little dots. If you click that, um, it actually takes you back to your uh, initial position. And so 
you can start over instead of trying to manipulate uh, the um, the design back to uh, something normal like you had it before you can just click that option there and it'll take you back to the uh, initial position so that's another uh, thing I discovered um, yeah so I hope uh, these tips uh, help you guys out I hope you learned something from this um, I know that it uh, clip studio paint is a very robust software it has a lot of tools to help you uh, draw your your mangas or, or your comics whatever and um, I, I just started learning myself and it uh, it becomes very frustrating because um, there's not a lot of a I, well I have not found a lot of tutorials going over some of these tools and so somebody can come become overwhelmed with it and I, I know that when I started using this almost a year ago I mostly just uh, just was using the the pins and 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 paint brushes and that's it using it like a regular canvas but it has a lot of tools that can help you uh, make a lot of great artwork and uh, I'm just uh, learning as I go and hopefully putting these out there for you guys to learn something too and pick something up so um, hope you guys enjoyed uh, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it uh, if you haven't subscribed to my ch channel please consider subscribing and uh, um, I hope to see you guys in the next one.